Hussein Ayad was born in Iraq in 1987. He came to the United States after the first Gulf War. We spoke in a cafe in Astoria's Arabic section of Steinway Street. I've been watching the situation, I lived through the situation, most of what happened in Iraq, or at least what happened from 1991 to now, I remember it as if it was yesterday. And I could definitely relate to the violence that's going on over there right now. I've seen it firsthand. I've been to Iraq uh, ever since 2003. I've been going every single year. And the uh, situation just gets worse by the year. As a published author on the interpretation of the Quran, Hussein is particularly sensitive to how extremists have distorted Islam. It took 70 years for this extreme ideology to develop. You know, and they developed it using uh, and rereading the whole religion. And this is exactly how uh, you see a lot of Muslims becoming very, very violent. For us to reverse that, we need another 70 years to reread the whole religion and reread their readings and refute how they read the religion. Find out these verses, put them into context. Everything they say, by the way, is completely out of context. Yeah, it's just taking, you know, it's like putting pieces and making it into a puzzle, put it together and be like, okay, well, this is what you have to do. And we have to sit down and scholars have to sit down together. And that's also another thing. Like Shia scholars, Sunni scholars, Sufi scholars, Western scholars, political activists, lawyers, everybody sit down together and come up with a plan. Much of the battleground is now on the internet, where ISIS has carved out an overwhelming presence. If you write down ISIS in Arabic, you'll see complete beheadings for half an hour. And you don't even have to be 18 or over to confirm, you'll just see it right there. And their media is very, very strong. So we don't, there's voices, if you, I'm sure if you go to any mosque right here in New York, for example, or go to the mosques in, uh, in the Arab world, and if you see what they're saying about ISIS, it's all in, in the negative. However, nobody's putting that voice out there. Another long-term project will be addressing the lack of civil traditions in Iraqi society. During Saddam's time, we had security but no liberty. And at this time, we have liberty but no security. And finding a balance between the two is going to be the hardest task for the Iraqi government and for the United States government. We have to change our philosophy. We have to change. Uh, we, ha we have to change our education. We have to change our understanding. And until that happens, it really doesn't matter who you take care of. You take care of ISIS, there'll be somebody worse than ISIS tomorrow. And you take care of that because the, the fixing has to be within the nation. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.